Welcome to Stop Fake, the place where we debunk disinformation about Ukraine and set the record straight. I'm history and political science professor Marta Dechok with this week's batch of informational mendacity. Among the fakes we examine this week, Ukraine's presidential administration doesn't know who founded Canada. Sweden wants out of the EU. Russian media distort Ukrainian poll results. So let's get to the details. In the aftermath of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's official visit to Ukraine, scores of Russian media announced that Ukrainians think they founded Canada. History Ukrainian style. How Ukrainians founded Canada. A Ukrainian take on Canadian history. How Ukrainians built today's Canada blared the headlines on sites such as Argumente Facte, Lenta.ru, the Russian Defense Ministry television station Zvizda, Komskomolskaya Pravda, Izvestia, and others. This latest fake stems from a gift that Ukraine's President Poroshenko presented to the Canadian Prime Minister. Boris Loshkin, the Presidential Chief of Staff, posted a photograph of the gift, the Canadian flag executed in a way to reflect the colors of the Ukrainian flag, along with a text about Canadian-Ukrainian friendship. Quote, 125 years ago, the first Ukrainians came to Canada. Their work helped to create a Canada that we know today. Ukrainians became an integral part of Canadian culture, economy, public, and social life. And Canada became a true, reliable friend of Ukraine, end of quote, wrote Loshkin. The first Ukrainian settlers really did come to Canada 125 years ago. This is a historical fact. The first recorded immigrants from Ukraine arrived in Canada in 1891. Other waves of Ukrainian immigrants followed, resulting in Ukrainians being the seventh largest minority group in Canada, according to the country's latest census. Ukrainians didn't discover Canada, but they certainly contributed to its growth and development. Earlier this month, the Spanish version of Russia's international news company RT announced that Sweden, the most attractive country in the world, wants out of the European Union. RT claims that in a recent poll, a majority of Swedes expressed a desire to leave the EU. However, RT fails to mention when the poll was conducted, who organized it, and how many people actually participated. In the same story, however, RT inexplicably points out that in 2016, Sweden was rated the most reputable country in the world, according to the Reputation Institute. Sweden's English language publication, The Local, contradicts RT's claims completely. A new survey conducted after the result of Britain's Brexit referendum became known showed that 52% of Swedes would vote to stay in the European Union. The online poll included 1,012 randomly selected persons and was conducted three days after the British referendum. Russian media eagerly speculated on the possibility of other countries following Britain's example and leaving the EU. The Russian language version of RT used a Washington Post story to claim that six other countries also wanted to leave the EU. The Washington Post story listed four EU countries, France, the Netherlands, Sweden, and Denmark, where politicians from right-wing parties with anti-immigration platforms are seeking a vote on leaving the EU. The article did not claim that the majority of the people in those countries actually wanted to leave the European Union. This enchanted Ukrainians give up on their government, announced Ria Novos to Ukraine. The latest polls won't please the Ukrainian powers that be, writes the publication. The ratings of the country's top officials is falling, and the level of trust in parliament and the cabinet of ministers is very low. Ukraina.ru, which despite its Ukrainian-sounding name, belongs to the Russian agency Rusia Sagodnya, announced that Ukraine's trust in their government had fallen to 1%. Referencing the result of a poll conducted by the rating group, agency Russian sites Pravdanews.info and Infon Bureau declared that only 1% trusted the Ukrainian government and parliament, while a mere 3% still trusted the president. The rating group Ukraine conducted a poll ordered by the International Republican Institute in June of this year. The results were published in the beginning of July. Asked, do you approve or disapprove of the activities of the President, Parliament, and Cabinet of Ministers? Respondents could answer, fully approve, mostly approve, rather disapprove, fully disapprove, or difficult to answer. Russian media presented only a partial picture of the poll results by focusing on just one answer, fully approve. When the fully approve and mostly approve percentages are combined, 
Parliament's approval rating jumps to 10%, the government's to 20%, and the president's approval rating totals 19%. Reporting on the poll results, the International Republican Institute focused on the other questions, pointing out that 76% of Ukrainians believe the country is headed in the wrong direction. 51% said fighting corruption should be a top government priority, and 55% support EU membership for Ukraine. And finally, a few tips on how to spot disinformation and propaganda. The European Union's East Stratcom Task Force, whose job it is to strategically identify and combat Russia's ongoing disinformation campaigns, has developed an animated video that identifies widely used Kremlin disinformation techniques, one of which is to blame the US for everything. Take a look and beware. That's it for this week. You can find much more dissected disinformation on the Stop Fake website. Be vigilant, look out for fakes, and if you spot any disinformation about Ukraine, send it to us for a truth autopsy. I'm Marta the Chalk, and this is Stop Fake. Thanks for watching.